hi guys hope you're all good so today we'll be looking at a program sorting an array so we'll be writing a program sorting an array using bubble sort so if you look at this array it is unsorted it has numbers which are just jumbled so we'll be writing a program to sort this array in an ascending order so bubble sort is sort by comparing each adjacent pair of item in a list in this case numbers swapping them if necessary and repeat the process until the list is done so without wasting much of your time let's start writing this program With your IDE open, create a new project. As you can see, mine has already been created here. So if you don't know how to create a new project, watch the video with the link in the description box below. So without wasting much of your time, let's start writing the project. So I'm just going to include some header files. So I'm just going to say include stdio.h and I'm also going to include include stdlib.h from there i'm going to start writing the main method i'm going to say int main and inside our main method i'm going to start writing the whole project so here i'm going to need a variable of int type and it will be got temp int temp and i'm going to need an array which will be of int type and the name will be nums array nums array and I'm going to initialize it. So since I already have the array written here, so I'm just going to copy it from here and paste it there. Control C to copy and Control V to paste. Close there. After this, I'm going to have a for loop to print this unsorted array. So before I do that, I'm going to print a statement to, to say this is the unsorted array. And inside here, I'm going to say array before sort and i'm going to put a for loop here for int i is equals to zero i should be less than 10 and each time the loop is looping i should be implemented so inside here i'm going to just put a statement to print out the elements of this r which is unsorted so i'm going to say print f percentage d and these numbers should come from nums at index i close there so after this i'm going to have some nested for loop here but before i continue i just forgot something here yeah that so here i'm going to have some nested for loops and the outer loop will start iterating on the array from index zero and the second or inner loop will start iterating the array from index one so i'm going to say for int i is equals to zero and i should be less than 10 each time the loop is looping i should be incremented inside here i'm going to have another for loop for int j and j should be equal to i plus 1 j should be less than 10 as well and each time the loop is looping j should be also incremented inside this for loop i'm going to have an if statement which is going to compare each adjacent pair of numbers in the array and swap them if necessary then continue repeating the process until the list is done or the array is done so i'm going to say if nums nums array at index i is greater than nums at index j this is because we're comparing the number at index i which is going to start from index zero and the number which is at, at index j because this one will start from index one so we will be comparing these two numbers and if this one is greater than this one meaning here the temp variable will get the number which is at index i in the array and put it in this temp variable at index i after getting the number which is at index i putting it in the temp variable meaning we have an empty slot at index i and we're going to put the number which is at index j at this index so we're going to say nums at index i is equals to nums at index j first here we got the number which was at index i we put it in the temp variable meaning we have an empty slot on nums at index i and there we are going to get the number which is on index j put it there and after that we are going to now move the number which is in the temp variable to nums index j to complete the swapping so we are going to move the number which is in the temp variable to nums at index j so this is how you swap the numbers 
first we check whether the number at index i is greater than the number at index j. If this condition is satisfied, we move the number which is at index i into the temp variable. After that, we have an empty slot at index i, and we're going to move the number which is at index j to that index which is index i. That creates an empty slot on index j. And on index j, we are going to now move the number which is in the temp variable, putting it index j to complete the swap. This process will be repeated until all the adjacent pairs in this array are compared and swapped if necessary. Now that we've sorted the array, so we're going to have a for loop which is going to print the sorted array. So before we do that, I'm going to write a statement here to just display a message to say this is a sorted array. So I'm just going to say print f and the message here should be array after sort. Then I'm going to have a for loop for int i is equals to 0 i should be less than 10 each time the loop is looping i should be incremented and after that i'm going to put a print statement here percentage d and this should come from nums at index i so we're done with everything here so we've included some header files we've declared some temp variable here we've declared and initialized the array here then we've printed here the, this array that we've declared here before sorting it and after that we have our bubble sort here where we have some nested for loops and the first and outer loop is iterating starting from index 0 and the inner loop is starting from index 1 and when the iterations are going on we have an if statement inside these two loops to compare each adjacent pair and swap them if necessary and repeat the process until the list is done. After that we now have a for loop to just print the sorted array here. So we are going to run this program and see our output. So our output here has been printed. So let me just zoom a bit so that we are able to see this so as you can see here we have array before sort and we have the numbers being printed the way they were in the array and here we have array after sort the numbers from 1 to 10 in ascending order sorted so this is how you write a program to sort numbers using bubble sort if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe hit the like button comment and share thank you so much till next time bye bye